Hello, and welcome to episode 7 of the Endgame Iron Man series. In this video, we have to revisit some content because of some brain lag. Uh, we do go back in time a bit, which I'll lay out for you when we get there, but I figured it made the most sense to have all of this be its own video. Uh, the last video must have hit the prime algorithm spot because it absolutely popped off, so thank you to you all who have binged the videos, subscribed, commented, all that support has been absolutely unreal but thank you for stopping by and i hope you enjoy so i've tried to plan out the content that's going to be in the next couple of episodes just so i have a general idea of what to do and have some goals to work towards and i was set for at least this video episode seven maybe a little bit into episode eight but i lost my void waker I lost it at Bounty Hunter because my brain is dumb. So, I guess we gotta get it back. Since I have to revisit the wilderness and I have zero slayer points, I figured I would trio boost until a 10 task streak to get the points so I can extend revenants. And it looks like it was worth it. We're still missing quite a bit from the revs log, mainly the weapons and most of the totems actually. Uh, but my main goal in the wilderness is getting the Void Waker back, but we'll do some revs because the weapons would only help speed up this process and there's still quite a few collection log slots to get. Another dragon pickaxe. I wasn't recording, no! It's my first rev. Weapon upgrade. I was just AFKing during lunch and got the first Elder Chaos piece. Nice. And there is 500 Vedion KC. We've definitely been extremely lucky here. So, getting the skull would be sick to green log, but we are mainly here just for the blade at the moment. Another dragon pickaxe. Been a lot of these. I wonder why they're so cheap now. This guy is consistently a problem in the rev caves in the total world, but sometimes you just forget to cast Kelly block, I guess. Apparently I wasn't recording, but we got a second pause of Callisto. Holy crap. Not too many kills later and we get our third dragon pickaxe. We are stocking up on these. Two UC drops and three kills? That's not what I want. That was probably one of the worst 50th tasks I could have gotten from Konar. I got a very fat stack of black demons in the catacombs. Well, that's 300 points, I guess. Let's see what we get next. All right, Betty on it is. That's not particularly what I want. I guess it's nice to see something. It's my second one. How much are these even worth? Four mil, jeez. There's my first Agent Crystal. 
I think it's three more to go for the obelisk and the POH. That would be sick to get. This guy thought I was on client. I'll take that as a compliment. But if you're watching this, maybe make your switches a little bit less predictable. And maybe train some agility too. Okay, there's something. Not too sure which one that is. Looks like the tail mill one. We'll take it. Not really what I want to see on the ground, but I guess we'll take the backup. I forgot my slaughters, but that's all right. I'm just going to talk for a little bit. Um, I lost my Void Waker on Sunday and immediately went and did a few Vedion before just being annoyed and logging off for the night. Between that and Friday, I killed about 1,200 Revenants on task. 414 RDO, 163 Spindle, and 98 Vedion. I pretty much didn't leave the wilderness at all that week. And then I was getting myself till Friday to see if I would get a, another Void Waker piece. And I did not. So I played Diablo for 12 days and <laughs> Parrot Champ messaged me saying, hey, we can pot the duo time. And that's what got me back into the game. We got the time pretty easily. Then it's just hard mode Tob and trying to get the Void Waker back. Didn't even have OBS open, but there is a tyrannical ring. We just need the pet to green log. So we're bound to get the dupes. I think that is my first tyrannical ring on this grind. A dragon pickaxe, oh my gosh. Just what I need. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God, let's go. First piece of getting it back, let's go. That's such a relief. Oh my gosh. Do the math. Um, I'm actually so fucking lucky at Benny. <laughs> oh my god. Um, how do I. How have I gotten three blades before the skull? That just doesn't make sense. I started at 468 KC. Who was that? 100. 77 or so I will take it one out of three and yes you see three I don't know if I mentioned it yet but I did drop that second one over that I got in dinos bingo like three days before I lost the void wigger so bad timing so I was just looking back through my video loot screenshots um, I got the second one at 435 KC, but I think I did more Vedion after I got that for the bingo. Um, so I had 468 KC when bingo ended, and then I dropped it shortly after that and had to do 170... 468 to 645 since losing it.
not too shabby. 100th Slayer task from Konar was 5 Mithril Dragons, and that was the quickest 500 points I've ever gotten. There it is, the second Void Maker piece. Holy, that took like 350 spindles. Let's go. I wasn't even recording. Uh, I just got my third Claws of Callisto. Still not what we need. Um, but this is the only boss where I have the weapon upgrade. But it's also the only boss that I don't have the pet. RNG is so weird. Oh my gosh, a collection log. I don't even know which one that is. Five hundred K one, maybe. Nope, it's the cheap one. <laughs> Perfect. Another tyrannical ring. Wow, we. That's number two. Well, three total, but second one trying to get the Void Waker piece again. Forestry came out today, and I spent the past couple hours messing, or messing around with it, and it's kind of fun. Just unfortunate that it seems to be the meta right now, at least, is just get into a scouting French chat or watch a stream and just wait for the callouts and just hop. But it is what it is. We got the basket and then 10k more bark. I'm going to stop there because I'm bored and don't really want to do this anymore. Might bite me in the butt later when uh, the content dies down, but I got other stuff I want to work on. And with this stuff not currently being the, in the collection log and the fact that it might not be, no real reason for me to keep doing this. So let's get back to some PBM. Another Claws of Callisto and they've gone down in price. <laughs> what? How much are they now? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Fifth Clause of Callisto. I see. This will be kill 1000. Not RDO. Oh, this is getting old, but it is what it is. Uh, we are going to go to a 200 task streak and then just camp RDO off task. So we're at like 190 something now. So it won't be too much longer before we just sit here all day. Oh, a dragon two hander. I think that's the only one that I've seen on this grind so far. You find some interesting people while you're at the singles version of these bosses and it takes quite a bit of time to find a world so I'm not gonna let some random bolt ragger take it.
Tyrannical ring number three. Almost enough for a full hand. It was not that kill. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. It's over. Oh my goodness. Little pro tip for you. Use protect item at Bounty Hunter so you don't have to grind a second Void Waker. Man, am I glad this is over with. We killed a lot of bosses. We spent a lot of time in the wilderness. We got a handful of collection logs. We got quite a few dupes. Let's get back to the rest of the game. That's going to be it for episode seven. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. We pretty much didn't leave the wilderness for quite some time. We got pretty lucky on a second Void Waker and we also took a 12 day Diablo break. Now that we have the Void Waker back, it's back to TOA and the Imbued Heartgrind and various other collection log things. If you enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you aren't already. I hope you enjoy the rest of your morning, day, evening, and I'll catch you in the next one.